Hi, BrentTech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video that YouTube Music, um, in some regions and are using a controlled rollout, has a new album and playlist redesign, where there seems to be a new layout change that is similar to the YouTube Music mobile app. Now, I'll leave that video down below if you would be interested. But my reason for mentioning that video is because it seems that uh, Google and YouTube Music are starting to give the web app, the web version of YouTube Music, quite a lot of attention to make it feel more like a native app on your system. And the next improvement that we could be getting seems to be that you'll be able to download your music in the YouTube Music web app, very similar to what you get um, over on your mobile device as an example. Now, this was spotted recently over on Reddit. Now, it hasn't rolled out in my region yet and seems to be in its very early stages of being released. And if we just have a look at this screenshot provided by a user called a living speed bump over on Reddit, here we can see some interesting changes in the web app of YouTube Music. So here we can see a new download button. Let's zoom in there. So there's the download button which is between the save to library and the little three dotted overflow menu where you get some other options. And once you've chosen what you want to download and you start a download, if we head to the bottom here, you will see that there is a little download indicator, downloading. Very similar to what you get on your mobile device and also if you are using the premium version of YouTube if you're downloading a video, which is here in the bottom left hand corner. Of the app and once your download has completed obviously that will be popped into a downloads tab and section and page and once that's obviously is downloaded you can click on play and there we go and you can play your download and this obviously will fall in line with most other YouTube services where um, obviously you'll need an internet connection every 28 days to 30 days or so to keep the downloads accessible which is common practice, um, as an example, over on YouTube. Now, at this stage, um, it's still very early days, and Google is being quite quiet about this. And obviously, if this does roll out uh, to my region, I can actually show you in real time. But because um, you can only download videos on YouTube Premium for the desktop version, I think this could be a YouTube Premium feature where you'll have to subscribe to... Uh, YouTube Premium and YouTube Music Premium to be able to get this download feature. But that's not confirmed at this stage. Obviously, I'm just guess guessing there and guesstimating. But nonetheless, I think this is interesting. And if it does roll out to the free version, being able to download your music, your songs, playlists, and so on, I think this really, if you are using YouTube Music as your streaming app and your streaming service, especially the web app online like I do every day, I think this will be a very nice move and a step forward, especially if you find yourself uh, in areas where you are offline and obviously and um, if you are offline on a regular basis then you'll be able to get access to your downloaded songs playlists albums and so on but if anything changes and i get access to this obviously i'll keep you guys in the loop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one